So we've been in shroud before. We have a limited amount of time down there. This is an hourglass. It replenishes your remaining time in the shroud. Don't do a blighted and automatically pick it up when you see shiny. Leave it there. You've got five minutes and then you can use the hourglass and get another five minutes. So I still got two minutes to spare. Oh, I should have salvaged it. What an idiot. Too quick. Too quick. Didn't read. Sorry. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Enshrouded. Thank you very much for joining me today. Now, I'm here at uh, the camp that we established uh, at the end of last episode. As you can see, I'm still wearing my rags, my rugged uh, Reginald here, ready for whatever's next. Now, we're going to be starting today's episode with a bit of a base build here. So, obviously, I started to try and restore this place last time. And we're going to try and continue that. I want to try and make this into a nice little house for us. Uh, and you can see the orange uh, zone of our flame shrine actually gives us a fairly big area out here. So once we're done with this place, we're going to go and try and get our, the blacksmith and rescue the blacksmith. Um, and go down into the shroud and stuff like that. Assuming, of course, I can get this all done in, in time. I certainly hope so. Um, and we're going to basically start with this wall here. As you can see, kind of... Doesn't really work. We need to. I think we need to flatten this one off, and let's see if how the building works here. When you're trying to restore from an existing structure, it does seem to merge quite nicely uh, with what's there already. So let's put a door there. It's not going to be particularly central, but uh, that would be okay. Now, uh, one thing I would like to show here is the ability to add windows. So uh, I'm not sure this is going to work because of. Uh, yeah, that, that seems to be okay, actually. Not sure. The double-layered walls are entirely necessary. But the pillars seem to have uh, put down quite a few blocks there. So let me see if I can eat these away a second and sort of flatten that out a little bit. But yeah, you can you can basically chip away single blocks. So you can place down, um, as you just saw, whatever you want, and then just chip away at it. And we can create ourselves... Potentially a little window here in the side here. I think that's going to look really nice. And now now we've got a little bit of problem here because obviously that's part of the wall. And it, and it does look like I can just chip away at that as well. So that's pretty nice. That existing wall and stuff, we can just completely remove that if we want to. I'm going to try and leave as much of it intact as possible because it's kind of like a... It's, it's a reminder of where this place began, I suppose, isn't it? Of what it began as. You can see the alignment doesn't quite work, but I think that's going to add some character for us, guys. It's going to add some character. Now, we can um, add a pre made window in here, or you can add, as you just saw, your own sort of stuff. What I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to uh, build this out of half walls, and we're going to try. I'm not sure that's, that's not quite what I'm going for, actually. I think that's too much. That's too little. <laughs> that's too much. That's too little. That's too much. Uh, let me see what if I, the doorway might be the best, actually. Yes, the doorway is the best, right? I'm going to fill this with doorways, and I'm going to explain why once I finish filling this with doorways. And that's not going to work either, because look at that. Have you just seen that? What the problem is there? This wall here. Um, we need these, these bricks to go within that wall, and as you can see, they just chip over the top of them, which is, ooh, slightly painful. Um... Now, how are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? We need them to line up with... I suppose the inside is better than the outside. The outside will still have the ruin restored, and the inside will have the flat walls. So we'll do it at the inside then. Again, that's not going to work, is it? Because we need to run it off of this. So we'll do that one there. And that one there. Why am I filling this as doorways? I will explain. I will explain in a second. I want to go for a certain aesthetic. Aesthetic. And that requires us to go with these doorways. As essentially, these doorways are going to turn into little uh, wooden windows. And we're going to have a nice little accented thing here. So if I remove a block layer from the top there as well, I'll just open this up a little bit more. The doorways do seem to be the best shortcut to this, this aesthetic that I want. I'm going to switch to wood now. And I'm going to switch to wood and we're going to put in... A window wall here. We're going to basically slot it inside. I wonder how that's going to work. Inside the the stone walls there. 
Right, there you go, it clips in beautifully actually. So we get this kind of like wood and stone look through here. And I think that that, that might work quite nicely. Uh, we may need to, uh, let me just see, if I put a frame at the bottom here, can I do that? Not going to let me, I don't think. Is that going to... I don't think that's going to work. No. Nah. I can either put the frame inside the wall or like clip it like quite far out. It's not going to go in. It's not going to let me do it from, from uh, the right place here. That's a shame. Um, we may be able to just do this and do it manually like that. So you get the stone effect at the bottom as well. Um, although that one, in fairness, we'll have to do from inside. But yeah. So I'm trying to go for a kind of hybrid stone and wood look here in the walls. I think that just that aesthetic just looks really cool. And we're going to add a window here as well. We're just going to add one in. Um, although it won't be it won't be a wooden frame. Because that wall is just not big enough. That's going to be like that one as well. And in fact, that is two and that is three. So that's going to upset me. Let's switch back to stone. Nope. I was on stone. <laughs> Here we go. And there we go. Okay, so we've got a bit of symmetry going on there. So there we go. We're on our way, guys. We're on our way. We are restoring. We are restoring. We're doing good. Okay, so I'm going to do this all the way around and put these door frames in, okay? Uh, on the inside. I'm just going to put one between these two walls here. So we've got a bit of, a, bit of an overlap here where... Uh, oops. thought it was on stone already, but no. There we go. Where we got... Put the windows as many places as we can, but it looks like we are going to be some out of luck in some places. And I'm going to leave the mossy wall there. I think that's going to be a great feature. I'm going to leave this bit of rubble here as well. I, I definitely want this place to look like it is restored and not just like a brand new build. I think that's going to be a really cool aesthetic. And there we go. Okay, so the outer walls there are done. I'm going to do the same thing again. Switch back to wood. Switch down to uh, window ways. And we're going to slide them into the existing walls like that. I really do love the flexibility of building in this game. It is absolutely insane. It's so good. Lock building like you've never seen before. With a level of ease that you've never seen before. The convenience of it is beautiful. And there we go. We're really starting to... Look how quickly we've done this. Look how quickly we've done this. That's, that's amazing, right? Um, so we've got little kind of cubbies in there where the new walls and the old walls don't meet up. But I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it because it, it's, it adds features. It's features and stuff, isn't it, right? So we do need stairs. We need stairs up. So we want to go up to another floor. Um, so we're thinking of adding that roughly around about there, I think. Don't know how... It is, is that going to stick out the other side? One way to find out is to go out. I don't want those stairs being that wide, but yeah, they go outside. Do you know what? I'm going to keep that because that actually provides an opportunity for an outside way up to a balcony here, right? Think about it. That could be sweet. We could be onto a sweet little winner with that one. Inside and outside stairs all in one go. Yeah? Am I making any sense whatsoever? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> You guys know, right? You guys know? Now, the difficulty is, I've never actually built, um, like, um, a ceiling in this game ever before. You know? I'm gonna, I'm gonna build this bit out of wood. Uh, sorry, stone. Because that part is on the, the wall there. Can I build another one? Oh, hello, cheeky. Yeah, the snapping is a little bit rough here, I gotta admit. The snapping is a little bit rough. Right, I, now I want to remove this bit of rubble here, because unfortunately... This is going to interfere with our uh, balcony set that we want. I'm going to try and leave try and leave that bit there. Okay. So we've got stairs in and out. All right, this is going to be sweet. Unfortunately, we've ah, we've run out of run out of light. So, uh that's that's that. Okay, no problem. What I'm going to do is while the night is here, let me see if I can build us a bed. Now, I don't have a roof on this. So I'm not even sure if it's going to work. Plant fibers for string 3 and torn cloth 4. No, not the bench, the uh, box, please, boss. Plant fibers, torn cloth. And, and string, wasn't it? So, 
We need just one more string. There we go. And we can make a bed. There we go. It's a basic bed, but you know, you can make a, a slightly better one as well with more um more materials. For me that'll do. Uh, it will get the job done, right? We can always destroy it later and refund it. Okay, so let me put that down there. And we can have a bed somewhere. And this is this is definitely a temporary thing. I'll put it there. That'll do. I'll put it there. And we're going to get, like, tables, chairs, illumination in here. There's so many, like, decorative blocks and stuff like that that we can enjoy in this game. I think it really does encourage you to just slow down. Take your time. Enjoy the ambiance, you know? Make a home for yourself. You're going to be here a while. So windows, for example, we can make doors. Um, we're probably going to want a nice little door like that. We need metal scraps for that one. Fences, we can do fences around the outside as well. And then, like you say, you've got your dishes, mugs, plates, and stuff like that. Uh, there's only one type of window at the moment, so um, how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven windows downstairs. We're going to have a bunch more upstairs as well, but that's okay. Let's see if we can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven windows. There we go. That was nice. And then these guys just slot in by a, a, a three by two, like that, beautifully. Yeah. I love this wood to stone aesthetic. It looks really cool. Can't wait until we get some light, like a fireplace, big fireplace in here I want. Um, see if we can make it blend nicely with the the uh, rest of the, the furniture. I haven't done it before, but I, I'm thinking about making like a, a manually built fireplace. I like that there's a glow. That's really cool as well. Like putting a campfire here and then building a fireplace and a chimney around it. Let's see if we can do it, but we're not going to wait until morning. Um, can I sleep without a roof? Yeah, I can. Apparently. 60 times speed of night. Yeah, that is going pretty quickly. And there we go. <laughs> That's quite good. It's not an instant transition to morning, which is quite cool, actually. Uh, okay. So, we're rested is inactive. We need sheltered sitting or sleeping. So, yeah, it's... Because it doesn't have a roof, it doesn't count as sheltered rested. Uh, but we can have a little bit of a drink of water. And that will increase our stamina here. Right, so let's see. I want to play with this uh, fireplace idea. All right, so let me hit tab. And we can go four with a slightly bigger block here because I want... Let's chip away, actually. Let's chip away a little a fireplace hole because we've got a a wall behind this, haven't we? Look at that. The old ruin wall. So we could use that as the back of the chimney, you know? We're going to have to build that up a bit more later but yeah let's chip away at that and then let's bring that out with a slightly bigger block here can i clip that in can you clip in no it doesn't look like it okay so we're gonna have to do it manually then that's fine we're gonna do what the hell is that what is it? what did i just do stone what oh i'm on terrain how did i do that okay well don't move that <laughs> i don't want that <laughs> i don't terrain what is this nonsense? Stone, yeah, stone. There we go, stone. Right. So it's going to be a pretty shallow fireplace, really, in the, in the grand scheme of things. I might have to come two out, in fairness. But, uh, let's see. We could get a frame across that. It's a door frame. I don't think the door frame is going to work. Ah, oh, that's irritating. But, actually, do you know what? I, it's okay. Got a little potted plant in the corner there, eh? <laughs> it's a little potted plant in the corner. We'll make it work. Okay, so... Um, ooh, campfire. So you can make... Fireplaces, I think. I don't know if this is going to look right. I'll try it. You know? We'll, we'll try it. I think it's going to look... I think it's going to look silly. But if we put fireplace in there... Well, it doesn't look too bad, actually. It just, like... It kind of takes away from the... the whole thing that I wanted, the open fire thing, but do you know what? I am okay with that, actually. I think that's okay. So what I'm going to do is the fireplace. Again, we'll go back to a single block here, because we're doing some pretty fine detail right now. We're going to... Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Right. This is going to take some doing. But we want a chimney, right? I can't jump that. 
<laughs> so we've got a really thin chimney. Do you know what? That's okay. A one block gap chimney is okay. I don't know. It's not like Valheim where you need to have actual um, space for the fire and stuff like that, you know? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just like against those blocks. Snap, you bastard. Snap. All right. That's good. That's good enough. Good snapping. Good snapping. Just fantastic, isn't it? I don't know if this is like particularly enjoyable to watch. I gotta be honest. <laughs> but I tell you one thing it's damn enjoyable to do and play. You can build your dream home really freaking quickly here. There you go. There's our chimney. I mean, you know, we'll build it up when we get the second floor up and stuff like that. Hello. Um, but that is our actual working, functioning, actual chimney. Now, I would like to see if uh, if we change materials here and we go to that wood door frame again. Can I remove that and then not have the whole thing collapse? Can I have it? A... Where did that go? That went in the wrong thing, didn't it? That went in the wrong... No, not the wall. Crap. The door frames. Blocked the chimney off. <laughs> yeah, why did it on that level? Across there. Yeah? We're going to have to do it manually. I just think... Um, a mantle made of a different material there will really accentuate... The point. Does that look cool? I mean, given the materials that we got available to us, bear in mind we're only working with basic stone and, 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 and brick. And I know later on you get much better materials. You get like like flint building blocks and stuff like that and tar as we saw and stuff. So we're definitely going to be able to upgrade this as we go. Um, but, you know, as a starting point, we've just made ourselves a really cool little fireplace, I think. There we go. Um, so we're going to have a wall here. A little balcony here, and I'll extend this little balcony using wood. Let me see if I can do that real quick. I, I'm conscious of how much time I'm going to be able to spend on this without eating too much into the episode <laughs> at this moment. All right, so there we go. A nice little balcony. I mean, I might have to get rid of this tree because it's a little bit intrusive. Um, <laughs> it's a little bit like... <laughs> like, grow into your house. Your house sucks. <laughs> So I think what we need to do is we need to get a roof on the house and then I think we can call it for a little while while we go and do some adventuring, okay? So, let's see uh, Let's see how this turns out. I'm going to do a little speedy uppy here. <laughs> a bit experimental. Hopefully it works in this sort of format in this video. But here we go.
Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, uh, hopefully that was... I mean, let me know in the comments that format worked, if that was uh, good to watch or just really confusing. Uh, <laughs> and maybe I should just do the before and after things. I don't know. I, I hopefully you enjoyed watching the building. I think it's really good in this game. I think it deserves a lot of attention and praise. Um, so there we go. I mean, there's only a few little minor details I'd like to finish, like maybe an extra couple of support pillars. Yeah, I mean, there is, as far as I'm aware, no structural integrity. So you can create just magical floating platforms wherever you like. But I mean, I think for me, that just adds an extra layer of uh, believability in the build. So it's a nice little um, kind of almost like a Mediterranean style villa, I suppose, in a lot of ways. I think I've done quite well for myself. Um, we've got an outside stairs access here, which is, I think, going to be quite convenient to get in up here, which is where our bedroom is going to be. I've put an extra little slot in the fireplace here. Because um, i got to put another fireplace there. And I'll build that out almost like we've got downstairs. And that works a lot like, you know, fireplaces in, in real buildings where you've got them stacked on top of each other kind of thing at one fire, uh, at one chimney. We've got a lot of space in here, which is going to be useful because we need to get some survivors and stuff like that. And I've got a lot of work still to light this place up and decorate it and make it nice and homely. There is also weird gapping between the, um, the the roof tiles there and stuff like that. I'm not quite sure if I can solve that. You can obviously see where the roof overlaps in places and doesn't in other because of like the odd the odd number of uh, sort of tiles between each other. So I may be able to fix that by just removing the topmost um, line of blocks. But we're not going to worry about that now because I need to also get another load of plant fibers in order to complete the fencing here and stuff. Um, and doors need to be put in and so on and so forth so uh, next time we look at this house in the next episode hopefully I'll have it all done for you and you can see what is possible in this game but I think for now uh, enough building has been done in today's episode we need to move on and go and do some adventuring now timing is is perfect as always as right now the sun is setting on another day so let me see if I can get another fireplace in just real quickly. Where was that? Fireplaces. There we go. Craft that guy. Pop him on my bar. There we go. Hello. On the bar, please. Thank you. And see if I can get another fireplace up here. Oh, it's difficult to see. We're going to tuck that one in there as well. And I'll make that look nice and proper like we did downstairs as well at some point. But for now, let's sleep through the night. 60 times speed rested 11 is our maximum amount of uh, rested stamina we can increase that with skills and here we go we've got two skills to spend we are level two so we've got two now my general play style is assassin ranger okay stealthy deadly sneaky bastard okay now in mmos when i'm playing with people i generally quite like being a tank or a healer but we're solo so then generally my survival technique is to not be seen and to kill things before they even know where the hell I am. So that's my preferred playstyle. As this is my first playthrough of Enshrouded, I'm going to stick with what I think I'm good at, rather than going down things like Trickster and stuff like that, which sounds really interesting. Barbarian as well, just go all out warrior battle mage, which sounds fantastically fun. Uh, we're just doing loads of wands in heavy armor and stuff like that. But uh I'm going to stick with what I know so that I can get through this game for you guys and showcase it in its best light. So um, we'll have a look in the middle sort of section here, first of all, for things that are useful. Because this goes into dexterity, which is great. And then airborne gliders consume less stamina. We haven't even got airborne uh, gliders yet. Uh, dexterity again and marksman. All damage dealt with ranged weapons has increased 10%. That's useful, but out of reach, as you can see, I need to spend a point on dexterity. So let's see if we can get something a little bit more useful straight off the bat here. Uh, we've got things that increase the amount of uh, materials that we get. And why is everything out of reach? Out of reach, out of reach. I think I need to unlock one of these inner ones here in order to unlock the run. So I'm going to go well rested here. Unlock that. That does help take me down the trickster route. But that extra five minutes, that's going to be freaking precious. That is. All right. So then we can go down the ranger or assassin route and get the dexterity perk. We could go down spirit and go into trickster, but be gone. <laughs> Sons hit foes. Replace your unarmed attack as long as you have necessary mana available. So yeah, mana. 
Updraft. Pressing jump button while gliding gives you a small height boost. This skill can be used once per flight. 120 mana. There's really good stuff here. I think, you know, we need to spend some time really studying this. But uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get the 10% uh, range damage next. So let's get this as dexterity here. Extra 5% per attribute point. Um, so we've got well rested, which is a good one. And dexterity. Now we need to save our points up to really kind of do this. Because you can see it costs like two. That's two levels. That's two levels. That's two levels. That's three levels. And so on and so forth. So yeah, we're going to be spending a lot of time leveling up and these skills are only going to be once in a while anyway let's go let's go let's go let's go we need to go into the shroud um, daylight is burning let me off load a bunch of stuff that i can offload into here and uh, that is going to be it by the look of it actually we need another box um but i think we got a lot of mushrooms we got a lot of berries and string and all sorts of stuff i think we're going to be okay only two wooden arrows. We might not be okay. <laughs> I'm not ready for an adventure. It's very clear to me now. <laughs> I'm not ready for an adventure. I need more arrows. But I have a sword and stuff like that. But my bow is without arrows. So I'm going to quickly run around and get some twigs here from bushes. And with that, we can now craft uh, a bunch of arrows that will hopefully us a little safer for longer okay so i'm gonna have to um just carry with me around the stuff that i've got here it's, it's fine i mean most of it we'll be picking up more of anyway so it's not too big, big of a deal um let's go we're gonna we've got 13 minutes of rested remaining um i've got some berries here i have got some raw meat on me i, I don't need that we got all these torches <laughs> We will be taking up those slots soon enough with um, other things. Anyway, let's proceed. So what we got to do is we got to find the blacksmith. Now, uh, he's basically uh, over there. He gives us a marker for all that straight away so we know where to go. The only problem is the only way to get there is through the shroud. Now, there is a bridge here. Braylin Bridge. But as you can see, it's in a little bit of a state. Now, if we had a grappling hook, we could grapple over. But we don't because the materials the grappling hook we don't have yet um now we can definitely gather those arrows yes please we can definitely gather the materials that we need Let's see if i can smash the skeleton up it's a bit gross but you get bones out of it and that is a useful material for later so yeah basically in this game smash everything take everything um kill everything <laughs> You know, it all is useful stuff apart from that bed. No, I don't want to sleep in the bed, mate. I was trying to pick up the loot next to the bed, yeah? Thanks, mate. All right, good stuff. Here we go. Even even the freaking tent, guys. Even the tent, because you can destroy the tent. I know the camera's going absolutely wild at the moment. Come on. There we go. Destroy the tent, you get torn cloth. Quite a lot, three of them. Smashy, smashy everything. And there is a, um, there's a book in here as well. Oh, and a chest. Let's get that. Read that first. The raiders have besieged us these past two days, attacking from the bridge. Their eyes such madness we have withheld so far, but only just. We may not survive the next assault. I've ordered to rig the pass with our last munitions. Uh, if those scavengers return, we are prepared. There we go. So it's like a last, a final defense. From whatever the shroud or mystical power or whatever is doing to people in this world turning them into perhaps raiders and whatnot um turning them mad i'm hoping we get scrap metal from all this but it doesn't look like it's gonna give us any fortunately there's uh, another health potion though and that's useful all right so we got two scrap metal out of that all right it's something at least anyway down into the shroud we go so we've been in shroud before um just to remind you we have a limited amount of time down there uh, we are hungry we had to destroy the bridge and with it our connection to supplies but it worked we haven't seen any more scavengers the cinder vault and those within are safe and should remain so if we are to vo avoid starvation we may have to take our chances in the horrible shroud either choice is certain death more stuff always always good smashy smashy time no no see 
makes you want to read things. Yeah, there's a pile of wood there that I want to pick up. Oh, that sounded horrible. That, that sounded like a freaking dragon in Skyrim. Rawr, distant roaring. Stay on the path, shroud, la 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 la. The shroud, stay on the path if you want. You can go off of it, it's fine. Um, just try to remember your way back. Because we need a five minute timer here. And it goes down pretty quickly. Oh, hello, there's a nice parry. Got him. And smacky smacky. You're dead, sunshine. Give me your stuff, thank you very much. Give me your stuff. Alright, there's a lot of stuff here. Now, there's one thing down here. This is an hourglass. It replenishes your remaining time in the shroud if consumed upon use and cannot be stashed in the inventory. Okay. So do not just automatically don't do a blighted and automatically pick it up when you see shiny. Alright? Leave it there. Because down here is a lot of resources. And again, it's a lot of smashy smashy. Um but you want to spend as much time down here as you can smashing these resources and getting them because it's scrap metal scrap metal it's string it's cloth it, yeah it's not just raw resources it's refined um and it's all useful stuff so you take your time you got five minutes and then you can use the hourglass to refill it and get another five minutes how good is that and so there you go i mean i've got two minutes to spare here I'm not sure if that sword can be it's a nice looking bit of metal right there, but no, no scrap metal like that. So I still got two minutes to spare and I've pretty much murdered all the structures down here. There's, you know, a little bit of wood logs and stuff lying around. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, uh, with my remaining minute and a bit, um, we're going to take this guy out. The block just before he attacks, you get that nice parry. And he's an easy kill. There we go. We've got a rusty short sword out of that as well. Uh, we're going to try and get a tree or several trees down here so that we can get the shroud wood material. Ow, I was just out of time for that one. Ow, he double attacked. This one's a cheeky little devil, isn't he? Come on, him. There we go. There we go. Okay, I don't know where he came from, but uh, it's fine. Not the end of the world. So, Shroudwood, 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 Shroudwood. Good, excellent. So that's where you get Shroudwood from. If you're struggling with that one, uh, the mushrooms, the tree stumps and stuff, they do not count. These mushrooms you can harvest. Oh, uh, my bag is full. Let me delete the... Everything's useful, unfortunately. Grab arrows. One scrap arrow. Yeah, I'll delete that one scrap arrow for uh, Shroud Liquid. Thank you very much. Ooh, and there's seven runes there. Damn it, what else can I delete? Two... What's this bow? That is my bow, isn't it? Yeah, okay, never mind. Got so many mushrooms, I'm tempted to just delete them. Um, what's that? Is that any good? Melee weapon. The same, isn't it? Basically the exact same weapon twice delete it i should have salvaged it what an idiot oh too quick too quick didn't read sorry and then <laughs> and then i forgot about my timer <laughs> i'm too busy looking at my inventory my time ran out oh no what a spoon Oh gosh. Well, there we go. If you die, you respawn back to where the last safe flame um, that you, you sort of came across was. Ah, oh, what a stupid dum dum. I was in my inventory for so long. <laughs> my timer ran out. <laughs> well, there we go, ladies and gents. Now you know what Shroud does to you when you spend too much time in there. Um, it murders you. It murders you very, very quickly. All right, let's get all this shroud liquid here. All these little mushroom things, all shroud liquid. It's good stuff. Um, right, your backpack then, when you do die, is a bit like Valheim. It's kind of like a flaming... Um, what do you call it? Stone thing, you know, gravestone. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we got shroud wood. We got 
the shroud liquid and stuff like that. And so you, there you go, we got another five minutes. So that worked. And there's another way of getting more time in the shroud, isn't it? <laughs> Can I have that sword, please? Oh yeah, that doesn't actually give you anything. Big. Okay. Let's get a bit more shroud wood. Now that we've got another five minutes and we still got the uh, hourglass up there. <sighs> Good. Should we go anyway? Yeah. I mean, we need to, right? We need to. We need to go. Okay, let's, let's drink. Let's eat. And let's eat. There we go. Alright, so we won't get rested, but we'll be well equipped. So you can come out of the shroud out the other side here. Um, then you can basically get the way out of the out of the shroud. And you where you get across that valley. A little climby thing here. We've got full inventory though, so it's like eh. Eh. So much stuff. So much stuff, guys. Okay. I tell you what, I'll just explore this camp here. I'll grab what I can here, and then I think we're going to have to head home and offload what we can. Probably build another storage and then get the blacksmith. In all honesty, I think the blacksmith is going to have to be next episode. To all who set up their eyes upon my wondrous... No, allow me to be beginning again. To all travellers, I have conquered this terrain with my greatness. I'm afraid that's not right either. The bridge is nearly finished and I cannot find the words to express my joy. Confound it, how lucky we had a bountiful mine so close by for materials and ore. One thing I do know, I'll name the bridge Braylin, after my dearly departed fifth aunt. Though if she was still alive, I'm not sure she would be flattered. For her and the bridges share not just a name, but a brash nature. Um, there we go, okay. So, yeah, back to smashing. Back to smashing. Smashy, smashy. I don't want to sleep. Be gone, bed. Shh, sleeping is for the weak. And those without shit to do. I don't know. Uh, are you? No, I'll take the tent down. There we go. The one thing I do like about this game is you can get really, really far away from your base like this. And then if you're like, I need to go back. It's such a long way. You can open the map. Click on your home and just go home. As simple as that. It's beautiful. <laughs> There's no messing. Like, yes, you can fast travel. Yes, it's that easy. <laughs> no, we don't give a crap. <laughs> All right, so let's get another storage box. We're going to have to basically... I'll, try and, I'll get two. There we go. We're going to have to move everything inside anyway. And um, I'll probably just do that a little bit going to be our crafting area so let's put the boxes under the stairs that makes sense to me there we go bingo be empty now you can stack the boxes on top of each other but in my experience they kind of interfere with each other and it makes it quite difficult um so i'll leave it up to you but you can do it and uh yeah there we go Right, ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, we've, just, we've simply just run out of time. I spent a long time building this wonderful house. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Let me know what you think. Did uh, did that help with your own builds, perhaps? Did this maybe entice you into the world of Enshrouded, looking at how amazing the building is in this game? It is fantastic. It is so good. Um, in any case, I want to hear from you, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.